Hello guys, it has been a while, if you will. Sorry for the few days off, there's been a death in the family, I'm not going to get into it, but today, we are back with our main man, Andrew Tate. So, let's talk and let's just get into the video, because I don't have many ideas for the intro, so let's just get into it. Thank you. I mean, if 12 tigers attack me, and I manage to defeat 11 in unarmed combat with my Aikido, and the last tiger gets my neck... That's a, that's a fine way for Tate to... Oh, yes. Tate's narcissism already on full display right here. To be honest, I don't have a full opinion on Andrew Tate. I don't think he's necessarily a YouTube clown or an internet clown. I just I don't have a rightful opinion on him. I think he's just a guy who is a bit over his head. You know, he's made a bit of money and here he is. I don't hate Andrew Tate. I don't dislike Andrew Tate, I just don't have an opinion on him. Ah, ah you cheater, you cheated. It's bang out the machete, boom in her face, and then grip her up by the neck. Well, shut up! Yeah, more on, more, more over to stuff like this, you know, his treatment or his opinions on women. I don't fully agree with them. I don't think women are objects. I don't think women are insignificant compared to men. I think women are very equal to men. Obviously, other than the notable things such as physical strength, which obviously, since now that I've said that, I am clearly homophobic. Why would you suck dick for free? Because I love doing it. What the fuck? I don't like. What the fuck? What the fuck? I love sucking dick. Wow, that turned weird fast. A girl likes sucking dick for free? Well, where I'm from. We call that being a sl- I, don't at least get paid for it, right? I am getting paid for it on fucking OnlyFans. I don't need to, them to pay me. I make way more than they could ever give me. Yeah. They get paid twice. I don't believe in depression. Don't message me about depression because I don't believe it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you've already seen this clip. He basically just goes on to say, Oh, well, I don't believe in depression. If you believe, if you don't believe in ghosts, then ghosts don't exist. Basically like saying if you don't believe in death, you won't die, which is absolutely absurd, but hey, it's Andrew Tate. Imagine one day you're sitting in Paris and having a fucking coffee, and terrorists roll through with AKs, and the person next to you has their brains blown. You're gonna stand there and look, waiting to die like a motherfucker. I'm gonna be like, bang, oh, I've seen that before. Okay, boom, boom, duck and dive in, take one terrorist out, next get the AK, go Rambo, take out all the fucking pack. Yeah, this is kind of what I mean when I say Tate is over his head. I highly, <laughs> I highly doubt Tate is going to be able to take out even one terrorist, especially since most of them will probably have, you know, AKs, like he said, you know, ranged weapons. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm having doubts when you say you'll take them out there, Tate. I don't know, though. Just got to, you got to believe it. You just gotta believe it. To, you gotta see it to believe it, I suppose. I don't think the world has ever been equal. That the modern society we live in has been built by men. Let's cut the crap. All the roads you see, all the buildings you see, everything around you, men built. All of it. When women come along and say, oh, we're, we're just as important, you are just as important, but you do had a completely different role. You fulfilled a different role in society. And I think now, if you look at the roles of society, I believe men are still doing their job, but I don't know if women are doing their job. Men are still out here building the modern world. But when they come home now, the girl's like, oh, why should I cook for you? Would you be with me if I'd slept with over 50 men? I'm a high value woman, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, the thing is, the thing is about these clips is that they are so controversial in nature. But the thing is, it's almost like Andrew Tate is uncancelable, I guess. I guess that's a word. It is now. But the thing is, no person should passion. Yeah, guys, forget person, we're calling them persons now. Yeah, it sounds like a fucking fish or some shit. But every person, or no person, should be uncancelable like Tate is. He can say the most craziest shit of, as we've seen before, and he is just getting off scot-free with that shit. <laughs> 
you know, he doesn't care to say what he thinks, and you got that's one thing you got to respect about Tate, whether you like him or not, you got to respect the fact that he says whatever he wants, whatever he wants. That, that's that's a trait not even many men have, but that's something you kind of got to respect. How can you be high value if fifty men are? I mean, it's kind of a fair point. Like, it doesn't matter how long you've been single for in between those one-night stands, but in all realness, if you are willing to sell your dignity to sleep with 50 different men, you are not a high-valued woman. Or a person, for that matter. You're just... You're just a little slut. Somewhere on this planet, there is someone who is your age may look a bit like you, who was just given some bad fucking news. Either they were just given a cancer diagnosis and given two weeks to live, or the police just knocked on the door and said, your family's Yeah, a, a cement truck ran them all over, they splattered all over the road. My family? Yeah, all of them. I guarantee a bomb in Syria or a chemical attack in Yemen. There's someone your age who just got given some bad fucking news. And if you were to sit there and explain to them your pro sit there and explain to them your problems, they would swap lives with you in a heartbeat. And this is what most of you motherfuckers don't understand. You're not grateful for what you have because you don't understand and don't anticipate that there's someone out there who would do anything to have what you have. I mean, there's definitely an argument to be made that most kids nowadays are so ungrateful and I don't know if this is just the UK or not, but here in the UK, we have people called road men, or, you know, fake hard men, who go around wearing all fully, all full Nike gear, you know, all those fucking, like, ski masks and shit, and off, off topic, whenever I see shit like that, like these little kids playing it hard, I just, I can't, <laughs> I can't take it seriously. Anyone who dresses in full Nike with these awful looking ski masks. I don't know what to tell you. Just take a look at yourself. That's all I'm going to say. And again, off topic. Am I the only one who thinks any like, like, like expensive branded clothing is so uncomfortable? Like I am quite happy just... Fucking, I am so quite happy just wearing a plain white t-shirt and some jeans. I am comfortable in that. I'm not going out wearing these Gucci tracksuits and... Oh, God, no. Whenever I see shit like that, I cringe as well. It's just awful. Anyway, that was off topic. Back to the video. Me with my Lambo and my beautiful women and all my shit. Talk about just a normal, safe life where you can watch Tate Speech YouTube videos and no one's going to bomb your house. Oh yes, there's nothing more that I like than watching Tate speech videos. I learned so much, so much so I even know how to get my fucking house raided by the cops. Yeah! No, 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 you don't go to the club with your friends. I don't know what kind of bitch-ass dude is letting his chicks go to the club with her friends without him. No, you stay in the house. You don't go nowhere. You're not, no restaurants, no clubs, nothing. Another thing that is very nitpicky, well not just nitpicky, probably very much more severe than nitpicky to most women. <laughs> I don't think women are slaves to men, I don't think women, like I've said, I don't think women are objects, I think women are people, men are people, we are all people, we all suck, we all do stupid things. But if you are actively going out your way on the internet to just spread misogyny, all that shit, then I don't know what to tell you. It's just, it's, you, you, you're a clown, I don't know. Because life for a man is harder than life for a woman. Most men live depressing lives. For most men out here, they can't even feel wanted. Their wife left them, they're invisible to women, their kids don't talk to them. They're just not wanted. Society has huge burdens on men. We're supposed to be smart. We're supposed to be rich. We're supposed to be interesting. We've got to have jokes. We've got to have chat lines. Right? We've got to be charming. Yeah, I, I, this is a hardship for men. Most women expect men to be these, like, oh, here we go. Giga chads. Yeah. Most women expect us 
that I, I get that women have preferences, but most women expect six foot four, two hundred pounds of muscle. Like it's just, it's just not realistic. And yes, obviously preferences, preferences exist. That is absolutely fine if you prefer a taller, muscular man. Kind of ugly to sleep with at night, if I'm being honest. Like, just a muscular guy. I just, ooh, just no. I, I, if I was, if I was a woman, I would not get with a muscular guy. I would get with a guy who could probably fight, but not a guy who's really muscular. That is just not it for me. But what I'm trying to say is, I, if, the thing is. The the thing is right here is that I, preferences do exist definitely. They are they have existed since time. Preferences. If someone prefers a taller, shorter man, then go for it. But you can't. Women can't expect men to just grow. You know what I mean? They can grow muscle. They can get rich. Sure, but. I'm going off topic here once again, but women, women expect men to be the absolute alphas who will dominate other people just to defend their own woman. At the end of the day, most guys in a relationship don't want to fucking fight for for their woman. What I'm trying, I'm not trying to say that men won't fight and defend their woman. They don't want to. Prove a point so that they can defend themselves for a woman. They just want to be in a relationship and love their other one. That's it. But women try and get men to actually fight other guys. Just to get, just to see how, I guess, strong they are. Which is pretty messed up in my opinion. But once again, we got way off topic there, so let's get back to the video. Message on Instagram. And it was from a young 17 year old. And he said, I'll do anything... I want to be mafia like you. Can we work together? And I sat there and I said to Tristan, why does everyone think we're mafia? We're not mafia. Like, we don't run around with machine guns. I mean, obviously, we have guns. Our house is full of machetes. Are we mafia? Anyway, I don't think, I don't think I'm mafia. So I said to Tristan, look, we're not mafia. And Tristan goes, yes, we are. And I said, why? He goes, we're two huge fighting brothers with women naked on the internet who own casinos, who drive around Bucharest, Romania in over $2 million worth of fucking supercars. Everyone's afraid of us. And if anyone did piss us off at any point, even if we didn't want to fuck them up ourselves, we can make one phone call and they'd either be in a ditch or lose their any right to stay here. They'd have some visa issue and be kicked out of the country or arrested for no reason and put in a jail cell for months at a time. We are basically as mafia as you can. Yeah, Andrew Tate really does think he's this like really powerful man. I don't think he is any different from any other guy, except for one defining factor, he has a shitload of money, but that's about it, he's not different from any other guy, he knows kickboxing, sure, but any guy can learn kickboxing, and any guy, yeah, granted, it's hard to earn it, but any guy can earn money out there, T is a normal guy. Okay, guys, I think that's about all the shenanigans from Tate I can handle for one day. If you guys, for some reason, enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, some scribble, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. You're all losers.